laugh it up, fuzzball. <laughs> Hey guys, off it up, Fuzzball70 here. Hope you're all well. Today we're going to look at the Revenge of the Sith Shock Trooper. In front of you, you'll see him on the left on his Vintage Collection 110 card, and on the right on the Lost Line Star Wars card. First things first to say about him, he's not a new figure. Um, he, he, he kind of is a rework of a rework, if that makes sense. Originally, you would have seen him as the Clone Trooper, VC45, back in 2011. Then you would have sort of seen an updated, modified version on the Bark Speeder, um, on the Deluxe pack. But he's sort of, he's he lost those colours and he's been painted up in the colours of a Shock Trooper. Right, first things first, let's look at the cards. Okay, let's start with the cards themselves. On the left hand side as stated, it's VC110, which is a vintage collection card. You'll see him in all his glory there, explosions and God knows what happened in behind him. I think the effect works well for him um, in that there's lots of, depicts lots of yellows and reds. So that's really cool. And of course, the option of the red matches up with the figure itself. The back of the card. You'll see the other figures available within the range. Jar Jar, the Clone Trooper, Lieutenant Sand Trooper, Princess Land, the Republic Trooper. Underneath, you'll see the coming characters that we're all looking for. Onto the Lost Wave card. I think the Lost Wave card, he, he looks okay on. He doesn't look as good as what the Clone Lieutenant looks on the Lost Wave card, mainly because the card features predominantly blue colours, and the Clone Lieutenant obviously is blue. On the back, you get close for you, you can pause this if you want to take the detail down. He is episode 3, number 3, funnily enough. And at the bottom, you'll see the other figures within the range, the ones which we've just mentioned. Sand Trooper, the Clone Trooper, Lieutenant, Jar Jar Binks, Princess Leia and Darth Vader. Okay, let's get on to the figure. Okay, on to the figure itself. First up, let me give you a rotation of him so you get to see him in all his glory. The first thing you're going to notice, probably, and pay no attention to the C3PO, that's just for my ease of use and showing him to you is that his helmet is clearly too big. Now I guess there's a parameter attached to this in the fact that ultimately they're trying to make the helmet removable so you get to see the generic face of a clone trooper but at the same time there's probably a design issue with that in making a removable helmet which is small enough to accommodate being removed. He comes with two accessories other than the helmet, and that's the two guns. He comes with his blaster and his blaster rifle. There's pretty good detail in the blaster rifle, I like that. Maybe a disappointing thing with this guy is that there's no um, paint wear or battle damage. I'm not sure why they just don't do that. It's, it's I don't know, it's, it's, it's disappointing because clearly clone troopers spend all their time in battle, so that's kind of strange. Um, as far as articulation is concerned, he has 14 points of articulation. Most notably, um, ball jointed ankles, so he's very poseable. Let me give you another look. And once again, this guy's kindly supplied to us from the guys at spacehut.com. Details below in the description box. But yeah, check them out. He's available, ready for shipping today on both the vintage collection card and the variant card. So that is the VC110 shock trooper on the vintage collection card or indeed the shock trooper on episode three number three on the lost line card as always your thoughts feedback and comment are very much welcomed until the next time cheers fuzz